Okay, so before you purchase essential oils from a company, you really want to know what that company is all about. You want to know um, if the company grows their own plants, if they oversee the planting process, if they have, if they know where their seeds even came from. You know, like you want to see like where this plant came from. You want to trace it all the way back. Young Living is known for their seed to seal process. Those grade oil, grade A oils come with a very high price, lots of diligence, and like tediousness. Like anybody who I've met that works at a farm, like they will go on and on about like how much these oils are tested, how well the plants are cared for. And all of this is known as Young Living's seed to seal process. So they oversee every step from the seeds planted all the way until the seal that is put on the top and a number that is placed on the label so that you can trace it back to its source. So Young Living, um, the first step is that seed, okay? So they obviously are testing their seeds. They test them in universities. They test them um, wherever they need to. Now, if they've already been growing a plant for a long time, they're going to get seeds from their own plants that they know are good. But if they're ever going to start with a new oil, like they are going to be testing them and make sure they're not, making sure they're not genetically modified. Um, in the um, cultivating process, they um, do all hand weeding. They don't put any chemicals or pesticides or anything like that on the plant at all. It is completely organic. They don't put anything on the plant that you can't eat. So they may use an essential oil to protect the plant in some way, shape, or form, but they're going to use a food grade essential oil. They're not going to use anything else. They will invite you. They would love for you to come and help them do the hand weeding, but they seriously like hand weeding huge farms crazy dedication to purity crazy dedication to not having the chemicals and all of those things getting into the plant they rotate crops so um that like if they're taking nutrients out of the soil and specific things like then they take a crop like and put the nutrients back into it like corn may put something back into the ground that lavender takes out of it so they'll rotate the crops to make sure that the ground is staying good. They'll put good things back into the soil as well. The next step is the distillation process. We already talked about this, but Young Living uses low temperature, low pressure steam distillation. They do one process. So that tea bag I mentioned in the other video, like one. They don't keep doing it. They don't add pressure. They don't add solvents. They don't try to get more out of the, out of the plant by doing all that extra crazy stuff. Low temperature, low pressure, steam distillation. Never get above like 125 degrees and that's like the highest they would ever go and you and I would still survive at 120 degrees or 120. Um, crazy, right? So the next step that they have is the testing stage. And I don't even know like how many times they test it. Like they test it in huge batches and they test it again. They test seven times in this and six times. Like it is insane if like you ever go there to a lab and see how much it's tested each oil before it comes to you has tested tons of times like they are testing it and in this process if anything comes up amiss anything they do not put it in a bottle and they do not send it to your house uh, a couple years ago valor was out of stock it was a well-loved oil but something came up that wasn't right in it and they trashed it they didn't sell it and i just love that um there's real live examples of when they will not give us an oil if it's not up to this awesome standards of this testing stage of the seed to seal process. The last one is the seal. Um, and like I said, every single bottle has like a code on it that will trace it back to its source. So it's just cool. It's just a cool little touch that they have that you can know where your oil came from specifically. And what other company can do that? Every other company that I know of, they, they're like just brokers like they're just brokers of the oil so why do other companies sell more cheaply so um if you spray a crop with pesticides you have more to distill right if you use a chemical solvent to extract the oil you pull more out if you dilute it with a cheaper oil or a carrier oil you stretch the amount of oil you have most essential oils are sold more cheaply because companies cut corners so that's what you need to remember when we think about the quality and the price of the oil that you're getting like you need to be super careful that the company you're trusting is one that knows where this plant came from
So that is that. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.